Yeah, thanks, Mark, for being here, and big thanks to Audio Advice for putting this whole party on. We've been having an absolute blast in here. On a personal level, I've just been enjoying the amount of time that I've been able to spend with this all Riga system, or at least on the analog side, we're doing all Riga all the way. Um, the things that we're really shining a light on are the new shiny bits from Riga. We don't get to do that too often because it's a 51-year-old company, but they don't stir the pot with new models uh, year over year. So it's an exciting opportunity for us to uh, celebrate some new stuff. We've got the ND3 moving magnet cartridge here. New design, uh, replacing the Elise 2 and Exact 2, and then there's a third model which occupies a new uh, price and performance tier in this moving magnet series. There's a lot of excitement around these new ND cartridges. There's an ND3, ND5, ND7. It gets better and better as you move up the line with more resolution and more transparency. Um, and it's something that I've recently had the opportunity to hear at the Riga factory in Essex, England, which was a truly unforgettable experience. Uh, so that is uh, coming standard on everything starting with the, the Planar 2 and moving up the line there are various combinations where you can order the turntable with the cartridge pre-mounted. The kicker, these new cartridges objectively better than the ones that they're replacing. The price is exactly the same as those old models. So out with the old and in with the new. Nothing wrong with the old ones but uh, in the 10-year uh, product cycle of those old ones, Riga has not just been sitting on and you know, resting on their laurels. Um, they're constantly striving for something better. That's something that's in this company's DNA. They can't help it. They're always looking for a better way to do things. Um, they are one of the few companies that makes everything from the cartridge to the turntable, amplifiers, electronics, and other components, and even loudspeakers. The speakers that we have here today are the new Riga Aya, which is, um, the cabinets are built out of a concrete fiberglass composite, uh, which is a unique material to use for loudspeakers. They're completely inert. Um, they, the form factor is something that we're getting a lot of positive feedback about. Um, you know, there's no shortage of uh, black boxes or wooden boxes, and your stereo is something that's emotional. It's not just a tool that you're using to listen to music. It's more than that. It's furniture. It lives in your house. Uh, so the design and the style and the aesthetic of Riga is something that they have actively cultivated and improved upon for the entire 50 years of uh, the company's existence. Everything from the cabinet to the drivers and the overall design and construction of these loudspeakers is done by Riga in the UK. Um, so it, it, when you put it all together, you get kind of a closed system approach where they have designed around the various, the various pros and cons of everything in the signal path in order to achieve a cohesive sound uh, that is rare and difficult to achieve from a piecemeal system where you've got off-the-shelf components at every step of the chain. So the sound we're getting, we're getting really nice comments about a sweet, golden, smooth sound that you can just listen to all day long. And I'm not afraid to play anything from uh, Slipknot to Mozart on here, and it just all sounds great. All right. Well, let's give something a listen then. I mean... Cool. Yeah, like I said, we're not... Uh, we're not doing all audio fly music all the time here, so uh, best of the doobies. This is like a dollar bin record, right? And don't get me wrong, the um, I've got some brilliant MoFi one-step pressings in here too, and you do get what you pay for. They sound great, but nothing wrong with a dollar bin Doobie Brothers record. This is one of my favorite things we've been listening to all weekend. <laughs> 